along with it. Yes. But we need to understand this word revelation. And I've taught on this so many times. You already know this it's the it's an apocalypse. And most of us, most of the church is waiting on this apocalypse to happen. They're keeping eyes on Israel. They're keeping eyes on uh, Iran. And they're keeping eyes. And we got BBC, which is all the, 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 all the information you're going to get on across the globe. And we're sitting with an angst on us. And we, we, you know, we got trepidation. And we say, this is getting ready to happen. And, and the words of Sam, <laughs> Fred Sanford, this is a big one, Elizabeth. <laughs> you know, this is a big one, Elizabeth. No, it ain't the big one. <laughs> Biblical revelation doesn't have anything to do with events that are disconnected from you. It has no relevance to external things. Right? It means, this is what it means, disclosure of truth. It means to disclose instruction. Concerning things before unknown. Use of events by which things or states of or persons hereto withdrawn from you are made visible to all. Amen. So there are things in scriptures that we didn't have the, the ability to see 30, 40 years ago. It was in scriptures, but we could not see it. It was not that time. Amen. As the proverb says, seeing eyes and hearing here comes from the Lord. But now we're in a season where Proverbs 25 and 2 is very important. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. But it's the honors of kings to search it out. So we're searching out through the scriptures. Amen? Amen. Y'all alright? Yeah. <laughs> so we need to know. This is what I wrote. It means to unveil, uncover, or bring to view. So our contact with the Spirit of God through Christ brings a knowledge and an experience that touches something deep within us, causing a response. That is what revelation is. So if it is not deep in you, if it's here, it's not revelation. It has to come from your belly. And, and, and then it cause you to respond. I don't know if you've ever been in a service, but sometimes you get in a service, a nice good one, and you can, the man or woman of God can be preaching and teaching, and something in your belly is like, what was that, Elizabeth and um, Mary. You start leaping. You get excited. You know, you come in looking like somebody, you've been slapping you with two ugly sticks or something. <laughs> like you've been baptized in pickle juice, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you hear something, and It'll shake you up. Your whole continence. Your continence, you come in like David said in Psalms 42, my continence is falling. You come in, you can pick up your face. <laughs> pick up your continence. Pick up your identity. You start saying, I'm not going to have to struggle with it. I got something on the inside of me. So it should solicit a response. Not a mental acknowledgement, but an alignment of your perception. That's the response I'm talking about. Not, oh, yeah, glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord. No, 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 you just heard it. Now you have to go and birth that baby. It has to get down on the inside of you. So this word is made out of two, I, now this is something that God gave me just recently. And I, I always ask him something new because sometimes redundancy, it messes y'all up. Y'all be like, I already heard that part. So revelation. So the word revelation is apocalypse. We know that in Greek, but. It's comprised of two words. It's a compound word, apple. Somebody say apple, not apple. Not, not like the apple I got my phone. Apple, A-P-O. See it? It's apocalypse or apocalypse together. Apple meaning away from. Calypse means to cover. So remove the cover from me. Amen. 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 So this is why people always say, tell me, say, who you're covering? <laughs> I'm glad my apostle was good with it because he'll tell me, he say, you ain't covered no more. <laughs> you mature. I say, yeah, I say, all right. Because right now, there's only going to be one covering. Uh-oh, yeah. yeah. uh -oh, that messed folks up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is because you got to understand, if you're covered, as they say, then you're only going to grow. 
as far as the cover. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And there is only, you're covered by the Lord. Yes. Now, we need to be covered in a local church. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Did everybody just say amen? amen. This time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pray the Lord. We don't want to be running around here like straight rebels and lone rangers. The word is connected. Covenant. Yes. So you're not on the island by yourself. All right? Well, let me get back to this. So it's, this is what I wrote. It's, I wrote, when I combine them, take away the cover, remove the lid. Remember we just did a teaching on a spiritual book. The Bible is a spiritual book. We talk about take the lid off. That's what it means. It means to take the lid off. So every revelation takes away what is veiled from the eyes of your understanding. Every time somebody begins to articulate a particular principle to you, it should, if received correctly, take away the veil from your understanding. Mm -hmm. yes. Jesus came. That's what he personified. Mm -hmm. Matthew 5, 6, and 7. Did he not take? He removed the veil. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Remember what he said? You have heard it said, right? Mm -hmm. he, what did he say? But verily, verily, I say unto you. He said, you're still veiled by the Mosaic system. Mm -hmm. Here I am. He, Moses brought the law, but I brought grace and truth. Yes. So grace and truth is going to remove the veil from your understanding. Amen. 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 And that's why he told them over and over, especially in Matthew 13. He said, blessed are those who see and blessed are the, those ears that hear. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, because many righteous people wanted to see the things that you see, talking to the disciples. So he was telling them, said, that's what the veil is. The veil is on the, what I see and what I hear. You, okay, let's bring it up a little bit. Bring it up. So, tell your neighbor, let's bring it up. Remember it said in Corinthians, eyes, neither those are where the veils are, y'all. Okay. <laughs> That's your problem. That's why you're still religious. That's where there's no life. Because there's a veil. Now the veil, theologically, has been done away with. But it still remains. Because if I'm still locked in to what is written, that's why he told him in 2 Corinthians 3. He said, when Moses is read, there is a veil. Right? What he says, he said, but when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? A liberty. Why? Because the veil is removed. That's why he said, when we look into the law, there's a perfect law liberty. But when he said, when you look at it, you changed. Because everything is unveiled. We had the same image. You got to understand this, y'all. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's why circumcision is so important. Because circumcision, through the word, is able to remove those veils. Yeah. That's why you got, remember, it said, he told him over at Acts, I don't know why I'm going here, because this is not in my notes. Remember, he was, uh, 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 Stephen, who was that? Stephen stood up against him in Acts 7. I'm giving you the address in 7. He told him, he said, that, uh, 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 he said, your fathers always resist the Holy Ghost. Remember? And he said, because they were uncircumcised where? In heart and ears. We need to be circumcised. You have to be stripped of your fleshly carnal thinking. So there can be a pure flow from the spirit that's within you. Because if not, then you're going to have a lid on you. And I can see it sometimes. Mm -hmm. I can look out. I can tell when the lid is off. Because you're excited. You can receive. And I don't have to wrestle to get. I have to explain things ten times. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can say it once and you get it. Mm -hmm. And then it solicits a response from you. Because that's what truth does. 